Hey guys, I got a pretty good response from my first search problem solving question. And here is another one that actually one of my students told me about. And I actually had a bit of help uh, in order to do this. So uh, it's not an easy question. I hope uh, it challenges you guys. But once you find out how to do it, you're going to get a bit angry and say how come I didn't think of this before but anyway so here's the problem so you have a square root sign okay a very big square root sign and outside of the square root sign you have 2 minus the square root of and then inside the square root you're gonna have 2 minus the square root of again and then within that square root sign you're going to have 2 minus square root of and then you're just gonna keep going uh, to infinity okay so you're gonna keep going doing this forever and the question is what does this equal to so have a go at this problem uh, pause the video now if you don't want any hints okay so I'm gonna give you a hint right now so the hint is you're going to set a variable X to this problem so instead of question mark I'm gonna rub that out and I'm going to set this to the variable X and you're going to start from there so try to find out what X equals now pause the video come back when you're done okay so I'm guessing you haven't been able to make any progress well if that's the case uh, don't worry because I will show you step by step how to do this so let's have a look at what X equals now X equals all of this right here 2 minus square root of 2 minus 2 square root of 2 minus 2 infinity so what that means is you can replace so I'm just gonna write this all out again so I have 2 minus square root of and then I'm now gonna write the bottom section in blue because that's what I'm gonna replace with X All right now you can see here x which is all this stuff here is exactly the same as this stuff in here all right the numbers over here which i have circled in pink is the same as this all right because it all goes towards infinity so i can replace all of this with x as well so x is therefore equal to uh, 2 minus square root of x so 2 minus square root of x is equal to x and then the rest of the problem becomes really easy because you can just uh, move everything to one side I'm going to do um, 2 minus x equals square root of x so I'm putting this to the other side and I'm putting this over to this side changing places so I have 2 minus x equals square root of x 2 minus x squared equals x right, because I'm squaring both sides so therefore I have 4 uh, minus x squared and uh, I have 2 minus x 2 minus x so I have uh, negative 2x minus 2x negative 4x equals x sorry I made a mistake here this should be a plus and then I'm gonna move the X over to the left so it becomes X squared 
uh, minus 4x minus x minus 5x plus 4 equals 0. So I've moved the x over to the left. And then I'm going to factorize it, which becomes x minus 4, x minus 1 equals 0. So x equals 4 or 1. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. See you guys next time.